Hey there, welcome to Five Facts with Danny. Who's Danny? That's me, I'm Danny. And today I'm hanging out on the green roof at Menominee Valley. Uh, don't be fooled by the bright sunshine. It's extremely cold out here today. And I came out here because I wanted to check on our beehive. I love to come out here on the green roof during the spring and summer and fall because you can always see the worker bees coming and going from the high. They're going out into the park to pollinate the flowers and coming back to their hive to make honey. But I was just wondering, what are they doing during the winter? It's so cold out here. How are those little tiny bee bodies staying alive throughout the winter? So I did a little research and so I'm going to head inside, warm up, and then share with you five facts about the western honeybee. Here we go. Fact number one, let's talk about names. So there are two common names for the bees that we have at the Urban Ecology Center and the most common honeybees that you'll see here in America, the Western honeybee and the European honeybee. Western honeybee, that's wrong. These bees didn't come from the Western world. They came from Asia and Africa, which also means that European honeybee, wrong. So why do we call it these things? This is because here in America, the honeybee was introduced by European colonists. So from our perspective, it came from Europe. Now the scientific name for the honeybee is Apis mellifera. These are both uh, Latin words. Apis literally just means bee. And mellifera has two words here. Mel means honey. And fera comes from the root for carrying. So, a honey carrying bee, Apis mellifera. Fact number two. In a honeybee hive, there are three different types of bees. The queen, the drone, and the worker. Now, there's only one queen in any hive. She's the biggest of all the bees, and she's the only female that has a fully developed reproductive tract. That's important because her main job is to lay eggs. And so, the queen lays the eggs, keeps the colony alive, and creates all the future bees. The drones are all of the male bees in the hive. So they're smaller than the queen, a little bigger than the worker, and they have one job and one job only. Their job is to mate with the queen. As soon as a drone mates with the queen, he dies. That's his life's purpose. And that leaves the worker bee. So this is all the other female bees, and their jobs are literally everything else. So constructing the hive, pollinating the plants, raising the young, that all falls on the worker bees. Fact number three. After the bees are born, they go through a process of metamorphosis. So they start as an egg, they then become a little squiggly larva, then a pupa, and then eventually they become an adult bee. Now, if you're the queen bee, that process only takes you 16 days. If you're a worker, 21 days, and a drone, 24 days. The reason it goes quicker for the queen bee is because she gets a very special diet. So if a bee colony has lost their queen and they're in need of a new queen, the worker bees who are raising the young will pick one of the eggs and they'll make sure that the little pod in their beehive is a little bigger for that egg because they're gonna feed it something called royal jelly. Royal jelly is essentially pure honey. It's made by the bees and it has tons of vitamins and nutrients and it is what ensures that the queen will grow into the largest bee in the colony. Fact number four, bees like to boogie. So, bees do a dance in order to communicate to each other where the location of good food sources are. So if a worker bee comes back to the hive, found this great source of pollen, she's gonna wanna communicate that information to the rest of the hive. And she'll do so doing one of two types of dances. The first dance is called the waggle dance. And this waggle dance is indicating the distance and the direction that the food source is from the hive. Now the other dance they might do is called the round dance. And what this means is that they get in the hive and they basically just fly around in circles. And that just means there's a food source really close to us. So get out there and get looking because there's lots of good food for us. And fact number five, that brings us to this question of what are the bees doing during the winter? How are these little tiny bees surviving these cold temperatures? So as soon as the temperature drops below 50 degrees Fahrenheit, the hive goes into winter mode. And there are a few things that happen. One is that there are less bees in the hive during winter. All the drones have died. They've already made it with the queen. There'll be new drones born in the spring, but basically they're gone for the winter. So it's just the queen and the workers during the winter. 
In the hive, they basically all huddle together. They form a giant cuddle party. Now, you know who's going to be at the center of that huddle, right? Of course, it's the queen, because she's the most important. So it's very important for them all to stay around her and use their body heat to help keep her alive. So we've got a big old cuddle party with the queen at the center. The group of bees is always moving around. So they're always moving. That way, different bees can reach the honey that's been stored for them throughout the winter and get their fill. Now, because they rely on that honey for survival, it's really, really important that we're not over harvesting the honey in the hive. We need to make sure there's enough honey for the bees to survive throughout the winter. They'll pretty much do this for the entire winter. However, if the temperature does go above 50 degrees, even if briefly, they will leave the hive just because they need to get out of there so that they can um, relieve themselves. Yeah. So there we have it. Five facts about the Western honeybee. So as I learned, there's a small colony of bees in there right now. They're keeping each other warm with their cuddle party, but spring is just around the corner. It's gonna be here soon. It might not feel like it at the moment, but pretty soon it'll warm up again and the bees will start leaving the hive and pollinating the flowers and flying throughout our park and playing that essential role in the ecosystem, as well as that essential role in the hive of making honey for themselves and a little bit for us to enjoy too. So until then, thanks for watching and have a good one. Bye.